Hello, Salesforce Ohana, Walters954 here from salesforcementor.com. In this video, I'm going to be going over a new feature that has been released to flows which help us debug faster. And this is the ability to do rollbacks on our flows. So what this allows you to do is to run your flow without actually committing anything to the database. This was a huge time waster and a boon when you wanted to uh, do debugging or create things inside of flows. And now only for auto launching flows, uh, they give you the ability to not actually execute things onto the database. So let's kind of jump into things and show you the differences of the two modes. So if you all remember, I created this flow a few months ago and I'll link to it uh, either in the upper right or down in the description down below. But basically what this does is it takes in an opportunity ID and it will clone that opportunity and clone all the products. So a really quick way of doing renewals. Now, when we go and actually test this out, hitting debug over here and type in an opportunity ID, when I run this, it's going to run this entire flow, uh, getting all of the opportunity data, creating an opportunity and creating the different products for it. Um, and that's fine and dandy once we're ready to actually execute this, but if we're testing this out, it's kind of annoying to create a bunch of different uh, opportunities at the you know while we're testing this so if we look here really quickly we only have one big deal opportunity in the recently viewed I'm gonna execute this without rollback on just so we can see what happens the most important thing for us you know as we're going through and debugging this is you know looking at this panel over here to make sure everything executes properly the side effect of that is when we don't use debug mode, it actually creates an opportunity and goes through all the different process that uh, is very nice to have at the end of the day, but it's not what we wanted while we're debugging. So let's actually change our inputs and enable run flow in rollback mode and run this again. So we see that everything executed just about the same. Uh, we have all of our debug logs, which is great. And as we refresh this, we can see that no new big deal has gotten created. That is in essence what running in rollback mode does. It does not execute things against the database. There are a few caveats to this, at least for right now. Uh, these are only available in auto launching flows. Non-DML statements such as HTTP requests cannot be rolled back, you know, async actions. So there will be a link to this uh, release notes in the description down below. That's all I had in this video. If you are looking for more in-depth tutorials and practices for flows, Check out the ultimate guide for flows. There is a link down below in the description for that. It is updated weekly for new flow content. Thank you all so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And let me know in the comments down below what other flow things you want to see in the upcoming videos. I'm Walters954. And remember, I believe in you.